minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine full power. And lift off of Falcon Heavy, or Falcon Heavy, go to the FFC2. Heavy ground range. Heavy ground range. At T plus 50 seconds into Falcon Heavy's flight, under the power of 5 million pounds of thrust, Falcon Heavy is carrying OTB, OTB 7 out to space. And we are coming up on max Q here in a few seconds. Max Q. And great call out there. We have passed through max Q. That is the point of peak mechanical stress on the vehicle, and we've now passed through that. So we do have a few events coming up here. That will be booster engine cutoff, or BECO, separation of the side boosters, followed by side booster boost back burn startup, and then the center core main engine cutoff, or MECO. Now again, those are a few events coming up here. Biko, side booster separation. That'll be the separation from the center core. The center core will continue to carry stage two with the payload until it shuts down its engines with Miko and performs a standard stage separation like you see on a Falcon 9. And there you can see on your screen, on your right-hand screen, some views from the side boosters and a really awesome view of Falcon Heavy on your left-hand screen with all of those engines burning really bright there. Coming up on Miko, Biko in a few seconds here. This engine cut off. Side booster separation confirmed. Come back, Joe. Booster, boost back startup. And great news. We were able to also see that live on your screen. Biko, the side boosters have separated from the center core, and we have the startup of the boost back burn on both of those side boosters looking really awesome there on your screen. Now the side boosters are returning to Florida under the power of three engines. Coming up are a few events in rapid succession. That will be the conclusion of the side booster's boost back burn, MECO, stage separation of the center core and the second stage, as well as SES-1 or the NVAC engine igniting on the second stage. SES-1 stands for second stage engine startup. And as I mentioned previously, per the request of our customer, we will not be showing second stage views after SES-1. Additionally, our center core or stage one is expendable today, so we will not be attempting to recover it but we will be following the side boosters back to land, so you can continue to stay tuned for that. Now we're coming up on the conclusion of the side boosters burn. Booster, boost back, cut. shut down. Stage separation confirmed. And back in mission and full pass. And there we were also able to see and hear the call outs for the side boosters, boost back burns concluding. We had Miko, our main engine cutoff of the center core, as well as stage separation, and also heard confirmation that the NVAC engine has ignited. Now, as we mentioned before. Fairing separation confirmed. And great call out there, also a confirmation that the fairing has separated from the second stage. Again, we will be attempting to recover those fairing halves when they fall back to Earth using our recovery vessel, Doug. Trajectory is nominal. 
Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, the center core was not built to land or be reused. It is expendable, having given its all for the mission. We will say a big thank you to the center core. For the two side boosters, the boost back burns have completed. And so far, the vehicles are on a good trajectory coming back to land. And again, with successful second engine start one, that will wrap up our coverage pertaining to the stage, to, to the second stage. So we'll focus our attention on the side boosters. Now those side boosters are currently on their way back to land. In order to land back on land, we typically have three burns. Center core FTS has saved. We typically have three burns. They've already concluded a boost back burn, which helps them turn back around and head back towards land. The next burn coming up is the entry burn. That's where we'll reignite three of the engines on each of those boosters, and that helps slow them down as they enter back into the Earth's atmosphere. Now, if we do have successful landings today, we'll mark the 257th and 258th landing of an orbital class rocket. And those entry burns are coming up here in about 30 seconds or so. And again, as I mentioned earlier, the center core will be expended and we are not attempting to recover it today. Again, the entry burn is coming up here for the side boosters. Booster entry burn startup. And there's that call out that the entry burns have begun on the side boosters. And there you can see on your screen. Stage two, FTS is saved. You can see on your screen, the engines have reignited. Booster entry burn shut down. PY, FTS has saved. And a short NY, burn. NY, FTS has saved. Short burn for both of those boosters just under 20 seconds. All vehicles are on nominal trajectories. Great call outs there, all vehicles on nominal trajectories. Now again, we do have one more burn for each of these side boosters coming up in just about 30 seconds. That is the landing burn. It's a single engine burn for each booster. And just one engine is powerful enough to slow the vehicles down and safely land back on land. Again, we are targeting, transonic. targeting landing zone one and landing zone two for today's landings. Booster landing burn. And we heard that call out and you can see on your screen that the engines have reignited. Landing leg deploy. Let's watch as these side boosters touch down for landing. Stage two is in thermal guidance. <laughs> and there you can see on your screen and hear the crowd here, very excited. We have successfully landed both Falcon Heavy side boosters on landing zone one and landing zone two. With these two side boosters, this marks the 257th and 258th overall successful landing of an orbital class rocket. And with successful confirmation of our side boosters landing, that will bring our webcast to a close today. We'd like to thank the United States Space Force for entrusting us with today's mission. And we'd like to thank all of our viewers for tuning in.